Fighting Stars magazine says he's Bruce Lee, Chuck Norris, Steve McQueen, and Burt Reynolds all in one. And Dario Argento, who's a man with a sharp eye for talent, walked in and said that he looks like who? Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen. Yeah. Have you heard that before? <laughs> the boss. Well, he's the boss. the boss of what, and you're the boss of what? Uh, he's the boss of music, I'm the boss of stunts. I'll agree with that. Dario Argento, my friends, is a red-hot film director. Got to ask you, how's the Italian film uh, industry in general progressing? Is it doing as well or better than other countries overall, Mr. Argento? Yes, now is uh, not bad. Maybe in the next two years, the uh, Italian industry will be good. Anybody on the horizon? I mean, I was talking with our, our uh, shower singers about people who might... You know, when I said that you'd be here today, I asked who's going to replace Gina and Sophia and Marcello. Who, ah, this, who, who's warming up on the horizon? This is more difficult, I think, the, to replace Gina and Sophia and Marcello and the, the others. But, but, but the movie in the, well, in the world is changing now. Really? Maybe don't need no more Gina, Sophia. Maybe other things. Maybe, you are a very maybe smart star. man. New kind of, new kind of uh, movies, new yeah. kind of personalities yeah. today, right? Maybe young people, maybe very young people. Rob Lowe, teenagers. Yeah, teenagers. Like us, like you and me, right? Yeah. <laughs> this man has been called the Alpha. We're, we're going to talk about the movie, of course, called Creepers, which uh, I haven't seen, but I guess it's creepy. Is, is, you think there's a... How could such a mild-mannered man like you... How could you have developed such a passion? This man is known as the king of horror movies of the whole world almost nowadays. He, they say he out Hitchcock's Hitchcock. How, a nice man like you, how did this whole horror cycle? Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> maybe, maybe my soul. Because in my life I'm, I'm vegetarian and I like animals. So I, uh, I don't know why. Maybe some... Some literature, some picture I, I watched when, uh, when you were a baby. Which, yeah, when a child. Which which ones could you have liked when you were a child? That that would cover yeah. some of your all-time favorite horror movies. I yes, think. horror movie, and uh, also the uh, writers. I remember very well the impression of Edgar Allan Poe or Lovecraft and uh, um, many many American writers. Uh, when I child, uh, for me, uh, uh, the America. Uh, the best for writer and movies, actors, is the best land in the world. And now I'm very, very emotional and very happy to stay here present my picture of the American audience and well, American I'm, people. I'm, uh, I'm glad you said H.P. Lovecraft. He deserves to be mentioned, right? Yes. But I yes. still want to know if you had to nominate your three favorite, three favorite horror terror movies of all time, which, <laughs> which, which might they be? Maybe. The three the best of, of uh, Hitchcock, uh, simple. Uh, the birds. <laughs> yeah, the birds and Psycho and uh, maybe not by not three. Mm. How do you feel uh, about the many uh, critics, the many comparisons linking your art to the art of Alfred Hitchcock? Are you are you pleased with that or do you wish? Um, I'm honored, but uh, I'm so different in my picture from each of them. Really? Because of the time are different, the, the, the dress, the face, and also the stories. The, uh, the, all is different now, and uh, it's impossible to, uh, to make a comparison with the now and 30 or 40 years ago. Are you ever concerned, Mr. Argento, that your films might be giving people sleepless nights? Yes, I like this. Oh, you like to give yeah. sleepless nights? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because uh, it's, uh, it's to have an emotion. It's, it's wonderful. It's like a go uh, a rock concert. We have a big emotion, and the night during the night you don't sleep. Uh, the same when you see in my picture, you have emotion, and the night you don't sleep. You remember, and you there's, there's stay definitely, with me. There's yeah. definitely a place in our society for the horror movie, right? Yes, I think uh, it's necessary. I think for to. To help, uh, help uh, enjoy. We've got to tell Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Copeland and a few of our friends out there what happens in Creepers. Then I'll show a couple stills. But what happens? It's about. You tell us, Mr. Uh, Mr. Argento, what happens in Creepers? It's about. Uh, it's uh, uh, American girl that goes in Zurich, and uh, she she has a contact, uh, mental contact with the insect. She can communicate telepathically with, telepathic, with, exactly. with the insect. With the insect, yes. Have a, Million, million insects. Are you, used directed to a, you directed a few million insects? Yes, and also a monkey. Also. A monkey? Yeah, many, 
It's difficult. Also, the actors come. <laughs> well, which was the worst? Of course, if you get a, if they show you a movie on TV, you could get sponsored by an insecticide, right? You could, yes, have yes. no trouble getting a sponsor, right, David? <laughs> That's always important. You want to be sponsored. Especially by, uh, <laughs> by a roach killer or something. That's yeah. right. No, I hate uh, the insecticide. Uh, I hate when the, the uh, commercial win to kill the insects. I hate this. Because the insects are Let them in live. our life. They Let bother them live. Flies. Yes, they're in their life. Also, they hunt. They, the flies. That's what I tell my beautiful. people when I see my friend scratching the head. I says, I said, stop scratching. Let it live. Let it live. Yes, it take a while, right? Yes. All uh, well, human beings. Uh, all human beings. Right? <laughs> Who's this lady? Is she the star of the movie? Yes, the star. He's What's a you? young, he's, uh, 14 years. What's her name? Uh, Jennifer Connelly. Made in, uh, in, in uh, New York. Oh, the movie was made in New York? No, the oh, no. no, no, she is made. But she your is. movies have uh, English no, subtitles? It's, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's in English, shoot in English. Shot and spoken in English? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. But, I mean, if they didn't have special effects and, and animation and camera tricks, could you have made the movie anyhow? You couldn't have made this movie without special effects, right? Yes, without special effects. With mm -hmm. real insects and real things. Real? Yeah. Well, I gotta see that one. It's called Creepers, huh? <laughs> How's it sound to you, Mr. Copeland, so far? Uh, I think he's a, a man who needs stuntmen. <laughs> uh, I think they could use a few good stunts in that film. Was it a big, big budget? People like to people read about movies today. Mega bucks, 35 million, 45 million. Does a movie have to have that kind of a budget to be a good movie today, Mr. Argento? What, what's your feeling on budgets of movies today? It's too, it's too, it's too high, maybe, for, for, for European people. But uh, we have the same possibility to make um, the same picture. No? You think a, a movie's got to have a kind of a mega million a budget, uh, Mr. Copeland, to be well made and well crafted, or have you known people who could make them on a lower budget and turn out great? Well, I believe that if you're well organized and you know what you're doing, you can come in and you can shoot a film on a lower budget than uh, many of the films that have been done today. But it's so easy to criticize, Joe, you know, um, the old saying, uh, uh, it takes a carpenter to uh, build a barn, but any jackass can uh, kick it down. Well, uh, how do you feel about the critics? Mo most horror films, uh, Dario, yeah. are, are killed by the critics. They, they, they just put them down automatically. They say yeah. too much blood, too much violence. They say you cater to the pre-adolescent. Uh, yeah. I mean, does that upset you? The automatic, no, you know that the critics are not going to like your, these movies. No, my, my movies are um, good except with the critics. They like them? Yes, they like them. Because it's different. It's not all, only horror movies. So psychological also strange things yeah. they don't say you're sort of pandering to pre-adolescent stimulation no no um, the beautiful i like i like the beautiful also in the in the darkness which been a few of your uh, movies before before creepers the ones of yours that you were proud yeah, of suspiria say it again suspiria that was a big one yes here in new york what else uh deep red deep red yeah Wow. But what a nice face, right, uh, David, to be a horror director? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Looks like a sweet guy to me. I want to show Mr. Uh, Argento a few of your uh, stunt things in about a minute. Okay, I'm chatting yeah. here with a good movie man and with a good stunt man, and the program, even though it's racing away, is only just starting. Stay with us for what we call a show of shows. We written, directed, and produced by Dario Argento, who was the Italian Hitchcock, and he says he likes that comparison. And uh, it stars Jennifer Connelly, who uh, is going to be seen opposite David Bowie in Labyrinth. But, uh, you've got some good stars working for you. You're going to try to bear a good stuntman in mind if he's ever available for one of you? Maybe, yeah. Maybe, yeah. What's happening here, Mr. Uh, uh, David Copeland? What's your uh, reaction of re remembrance of this scene? That... You know, that was taken uh, during the shooting of Raging Bull, Joe. Uh -huh. That's uh, myself.